Things got heated between the defense and prosecution on day four of testimony at the Grant Furman trial. Things started to escalate when the state attempted to call Furman's ex-girlfriend to testify about texts he'd allegedly sent her where he discussed potentially stabbing Officer Wissink. Defense attorney Corey Malos objected, saying those texts were not found on her phone and accused the state of blindsiding him with new information in the middle of the trial. Now I'm hearing for the first time, and this is what is very concerning, is the state's trying to corroborate through two expert witnesses that extraction reports, gray key reports, do not necessarily get all texts from an iPhone 11. That has never been noticed to me. Malos added the state has attempted to introduce expert testimony without giving him notice multiple times before, but Assistant District Attorney Tracy Pater responded that the state has been fully transparent with the defense. So in terms of the personal attacks of the state withholding evidence, that's just completely untrue. We've given them everything. She went on to explain the state's expert witnesses will testify that it's possible those texts could have been sent and missed during the extraction process. The judge ended the day's proceedings around 11 o'clock, sending jurors home early to give him time to rule on what, if any, testimony will be allowed from witnesses the state plans to call. The trial is scheduled to resume Monday in Oshkosh, Seth Humanick, NBC 26.